making and specifically in garment making, it's a little bit different than constructing um, a garment through, I guess, more traditional fabrics. So, yeah. Hi, I'm going to talk a little bit about the philosophy behind Sayori and a Japanese aesthetic a movement called Wabi Sabi. And then after we talk about that, I'll show you the pieces and you can sort of see if you can put together what I'm talking about with what I actually did. Um, so this book is called Wabi Sabi, and it explains an aesthetic sensibility from Japan. I highly recommend you get it. It's not huge, oops, sorry. It's not huge, the print is big, it's easy to read, you can get through it, but it tells you a lot. And I, this is my favorite book since I started. So, with regard to making, fabric, making designs out of fabric and steroid, process, always think process. It's not an end game. You want, you want to take who you are and what you're about and apply that to what's going on within your weaving. Um, Wabi Sabi uh, is a beauty of things imperfect, is modest and humble, and is unconventional. Now, unfortunately, by telling you to do this, it's contradicting the idea that it should come from yourself. So, after I tell you all these things, I expect you to not do any of them <laughs> and look inside where you are and do that. It's like my dad always says, you know, don't think of pink elephants. It's like, all right, you know. <laughs> um, so, yes, so uh, some attributes of Wabi Sabi are you're looking for a personal, insocratic solution. So, you look, look for yourself. Don't look at that designer, don't look at that one, don't compare yourself in terms of who's better and who's not. It really has to, from your heart. Do you know Wabi Sabi you never heard before? No. First time? Yeah. Okay. Um, one of a kind, that's a, a stride for anyone. Uh, present oriented. So again, focusing on the process, focusing on where you are now, as compared to having a vision of what it has to be. It's a growth process and it will change, like evolution. Um, organic. Things that are based in the earth and here. You can tell, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. You, you know, you see something, you're like, that looks like the earth. That looks like the mountains. I don't mean, I don't mean representationally, but just within your head. Um, And so that's basically from the wasabi, wabi wasabi. <laughs> My husband told me I was going to do that. <laughs> um, and wabi sabi is a great, I would highly recommend. But what I would say with it though is when you read it, you won't remember it the first time you read it. And that's good because you want this in the back of your mind. You don't want to be striving towards, all right, I'm going to make it look not representational. Okay, I'm going to make it look abstract. It's like, that's not, you know, it doesn't work that way. Uh, this this is a Sayori book, and is this the most recent one? Yeah. It's great. I mean, besides the fact that they have lots of patterns um, and instructions for using the loom, there's an essay, which I've read so many times in the beginning, written by uh, yeah. Misao. Thank you. Misao. Joe, and again, meow. it's another. <laughs> what? You said meow. Did I say meow? <laughs> meow. <laughs> I was say wasabi. So. <laughs> so, one thing to start with is Sarah weaving is to express our minds feeling freely without regulation. Again, you're approaching it as yourself, you're looking as yourself. You don't want to be criticizing where you were before or, or hesitating and going forward. Um, to respect ourselves and discover how to live a more fulfilling life. This applies to every art form. You all have studied, you know that this is, if, if you do this and you follow your heart, you will be a better person. Uh, Sari weaving is emphasizes creative self-expression on nature beyond the beyond the essence of human nature. Um, all right, uh, adults are likely to have developed stereotypes images of woven fabric. This was my husband's first Ooh. Bobby Sabi piece. I mean, uh, Sari piece because he was referencing fabric that you could buy. So, 
And that's what he has for me, teasing me about me saying, Bobby Sani. If you can remove the deeply rooted conventional concepts of weaving and are able to express yourself freely, you'll be in, 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 emo, <laughs> enormously satisfied. Um, so do this for yourself, and then others, other people's ideas and thoughts will come into it. Um, if, if this is a chore, or if this is something you're doing for reasons beyond who you are, think carefully. And then the last piece that I took from that book was, an innocent mind can create inspirational work which I think applies very heavily to these disabled, um, no, not kids, they're all ages, right? Mm -hmm. um, and there's an intensity and an innocence that happens as well with little kids who come here who, aren't, who haven't been taught this is what it's supposed to look like. And you can almost look at, uh, it's, you know, kids of all ages come in here and you can almost see what they did and say, oh, okay, you're in fourth grade because you just learned about rainbows and unicorns. <laughs> okay, you know. Um, so it's interesting. So if, you, if once you start to learn what you're supposed to do, that's when you have to stop. Okay, so I have some clothing that I brought. And like I started off saying, it's, it's really about the fiber. It's really about the weaving. And the decisions you make, I've never studied fashion, so I can't speak for how it's different or how it's the same. But for this, you're, you're highlighting the, the fabric. It's, it's not... Obviously, your design is important, but I feel like the first thing someone sees should be the beautiful weaving, and your design should make that fabric come alive. So, yeah, this weaving I just showing on the table. This is a seven years old, the girl, the self-taught pottery. Because we don't have any manual or guideline how to read this, so she figured out how to make this tapestry. Here in the studio? Yeah. Wow. The kids are amazing that Amazing. Way. There was a little boy who decided to bring me fabric every two minutes. Like, you should have this. You should have this. <laughs> and I ended up using one of his color combinations, and it was like everyone's favorite. Huh. So my, sew my sewing skills leave a lot to be desired. But this was one of the first pieces that I made that I liked. Um, it, I actually took an Eileen Fisher sweater and copied the pattern. Um, we can use the mannequin if you yeah. like. Okay. Or I can this try stuff on too. This one yeah, please. Yet. We oh, okay. Move <laughs> <laughs> we'll around too. Yeah. So, so I, I should have brought the sweater so you could see it, but you know how her fabrics are really drapey and funky. They're great. I go there with my camera. <laughs> and I'm like, I can do that. You know? All right, so I took that same pattern and did it in uh, two other fabrics with, I think, very different um, results. Yeah, this is a perfect example because you don't have to use only the materials of the weavings that you choose. You can, we say 50%, up to 50% has to be of the weaving, but you can add different fabrics. But, you know, I mean, it's common sense too. You, I mean, there's no point in the collaboration if you're going to only use like 10% right. of the weaving. So keep yeah, that in some mind. Some of the fabric is not to the wide enough to make a dress. So you can use the fabric, but we strongly recommend only use the sari fabric. Right. Mm -hmm. But we also want to allow this to be a creative process for you guys. So if you come up with some really amazing idea and it has, you know, part of it has to do with adding some fabric, then feel free to do that too. Right, and that's, you know, it's difficult. There's no right, there's no wrong, but at right. the same time, for this project at least, focus more on the actual weaving. How can you highlight the weaving like this? It's supposed to make this look better, right? This is not what you look at. That's right. That's right. So the, um, the this is a collaboration work. The pair of the weaver and the designer. That's you. So you need to respect the weavers also. So just like balance. You know, I th I think if you play with the fabric a little bit before cutting it up and sewing it, you'll have a better relationship with it. You know, you'll have a sense. Okay, this doesn't 
drape the same way as it does if I'm using wool, or it doesn't, um, you know, do I want to accent the, the holes, or do I want to accent the, the solid parts? So this is the other, this is um, a, uh, I spun the yarn and I, I dyed it and then used it for that pattern. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's pinned. Oh, okay. So, yeah. yeah, that's what I would do. Mm -hmm. This one? Yep. Chunky knit. Because the weavings that are coming that you guys will choose from are they're totally funky. different sizes, different textures, different colors. So it's great that we're seeing like, they're cool. a variety they're of really options. Cool. Something really chunky. And it's, it's a great challenge, too. You're taking yeah, someone totally else's yeah. vision and turning it into something better. I mean, that's a pretty crazy mm -hmm. idea. Did it reverse? Yeah. That's right. But hey, that's reverse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys can see this. Yeah, of course. So the 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 light orange fabric on the back. My husband, my ex husband, gave me a dress, and that's the dress. <laughs> so I was like, "Fuck you." <laughs> um, yeah. And so this is actually part two of that. Um, wow. This is from the same dress, um, but. <laughs> Which yeah, is from this ribbon? This, this ribbon part? This ribbon part, because oh, that was yeah. that pulled the whole thing together. Uh -huh. um, so. Yeah. so this would still qualify too, you know, if you, this is, I would say, still 50%. I like this idea. Um, thank you. Yeah, because they're complementing each other, and right. this like, is obviously... Like, this is one. This is one. Yeah. This is two. Yeah. Oh, you see it. Yeah. Right. This This pen. Yeah, that's very oh, nice. Cool. Cool. And it's great that you guys came in and actually weaved yourselves, so now it's more helping understanding the process of it too. So if you wanted to continue weaving for yourselves and incorporating in the future, it's part of the inspiration. I lost myself. Is there another arm? Yes. <laughs> go down, go down, go down. 